Hey, what's up, guys? Here's more coverage from Mining Disrupt. We are here at the Octo Server booth, Octo Miner's booth. So here you can see the new Octo Miner here. We're gonna check it out here in a second. So they have the Octo servers as well as their own proprietary 4090s, right? We'll check those out here in a second. You can see the specs here, which are updated. They're looking pretty good. Let's check out the actual unit itself. So here it is, you can check it out for you chassis. You can see the core, you see the motherboard, you can see the RAM. So this one's configured with more off the shelf 4090s. See here how many will actually fit in this thing. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then a sixth one here on the side. So you can see here it'll fit even these big boys, right? So definitely size wise, this is an improvement because you can not fit in these big boys. What it's also interesting, as you can see, here's a bare one over here. See how many slots. So obviously, if you have thinner guys, you're going to be able to fit more. You can see the amount of actual slots there are here. But obviously, with those 4090s being bigger, they're not going to be able to fit as many. So just something to take in consideration. So there are different configurations. Here's a dual core setup. And here is their 4090 AI. So super interesting here. You can see it's a blower style. The interesting is, is the form factor. It is a lot smaller than obviously those big guys. So definitely makes it much more appealing in these type of setups. So pretty interesting overall. This is definitely something I am interested in. One other interesting thing here is the fans back here are hot swappable, which is an interesting little change. But definitely nice upgrade. The motherboard looks clean. I like that it's bigger and gonna fit these bigger cards. Right? So let me know what you guys think overall. Is it pretty interesting or not? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you for watching and we are out.